Hello and welcome to another episode of Today's GK. Recently, Air Lapid has become the Prime Minister of which of the following countries? This was our practice question. The correct answer is Israel. Air Lapid of Ish Atid has become the 14th Prime Minister of Israel on 1st July 2022 and took over the Premiership from PM Naftali Bennett. It follows the collapse last week of coalition which he formed with Mr. Bennett. The upcoming elections will be Israel's fifth in less than four years. Which of the following best describe the terms JF-17, FA-50, Yak-130, A, fighter jets is the correct answer. India's light combat aircraft Tejas has emerged as the top choice for Malaysia as it looks at replacing its aging fleet of fighter jets. Malaysia has narrowed down on the Indian aircraft notwithstanding stiff competition from China's JF-17 jet, South Korea's FA-50 and Russia's MiG-35 as well as Yak-130 plane. Tejas, manufactured by HAL, is a single engine and highly agile multi role supersonic fighter aircraft capable of operating in high threat air environments. What is rat langworm? The correct answer is a parasite causing meningitis. Recently, a giant African land snail that can pose a serious health risk has been found in Pasco County. It is known to carry the parasite rat langworm, which is known to cause meningitis in humans. Facts about the giant African land snail are it is a major agricultural pest which can eat over 500 different kinds of plants. It reproduces rapidly and one snail can lay more than 2500 eggs in a year. It was first detected in 1969. Recently, a term Chaba was in the news. It is related to the correct answer is typhoon. Recently, China's first typhoon of the year Chaba has brought gales and rain to its southern shores. Typhoon Chaba's name was taken from the Thai name from break Thai name for the hibiscus flower. Consider the following statements regarding the Varroa mite. It is a parasitic insect that attacks and feeds on spiders. It was first detected in the US in 1987. So as we have to select the correct statement or statements, only second is correct, B is the correct answer. Recently, Australian authorities have exterminated millions of honeybees in a bid to prevent a potentially devastating parasite plague, Varroa mite. The Varroa mite or Varroa destructor is a parasitic insect that attacks and feeds on honeybees. It was first detected in the US in 1987. Mexico and Canada quickly closed their borders to US bees. Reddish brown in color, Varroa continues to be considered the most devastating parasite of honeybee colonies in existence. The mite is absolutely dependent on honeybee and cannot complete its life cycle without being in contact with the honeybees. Mahuli group of temples is associated with which of the following states? Maharashtra is the correct answer. National Monuments Authority to submit a report on comprehensive development of Mahuli group of temples to the Ministry of Culture. This famous group of temples is known as Dakshin Kashi. It comprises of five temples belonging to 11th and 12th century in Hemant Panti style of architecture and are located near Satara in Maharashtra. These temples are located on the banks of Krishna River. Consider the following statements regarding Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. It allows Indians to receive up to 10 lakh rupees in a year from relatives staying abroad without informing the authorities and the act is implemented by Ministry of External Affairs only the first is correct A is the correct answer. Recently, the Home Ministry has amended certain rules related to the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. It now allows Indians to receive up to Rs 10 lakh in a year from relatives staying abroad without informing the authorities. The earlier limit was Rs 1 lakh. The FCRA regulates foreign donations and ensures that such contributions do not adversely affect internal security and the act is implemented by the Ministry of Home Affairs. World UFO Day is celebrated on which of the following days? 2nd July is the correct answer. So, World UFO Day is celebrated every year on 2nd July to spread awareness about unidentified flying objects. July 2nd is marked after the famous Roswell incident in 1947, a supposed UFO crash. Tripoli and Tobruk are the major cities of which of the following countries? Libya is the correct answer. Recently, hundreds of protesters in Libya marched in the streets of capital. Tripoli and other Libyan cities. They also attacked the house of the representatives located in eastern city of Tobruk. Libya's main political institutions have failed to overcome entrenched differences between rival authorities in the east and west of the country, a divide that emerged after 2011, toppling of autocrat Gaddafi. Operation Narcos is a? The correct answer is Pan-India Drive Against Smuggling of Narcotics Through Rail. A month-long Pan-India Drive Against Smuggling of Narcotics Through Rail was launched under the code name Operation Narcos in the month of June 2022 and under this operation, Railway Protection Force has performed excellently against the 
carriers of narcotics product throughout Indian railways? Which of the following options or option is correct regarding nitrogen? The correct answer is it is a part of chlorophyll, amino acid, nucleic acid. Recently, researchers have found a new pathway that regulates nitrate absorption in plants. The gene MAD S27, which regulates nitrate absorption, root development, and stress tolerance, is activated by the microRNA MIR444, therefore, offers a way to control these properties of the plant. And nitrogen is one of the most important macronutrients needed for the development of a plant. It is a part of chlorophyll, amino acid, and nucleic acid, among others. It is mostly sourced from the soil. It is mainly absorbed in the form of nitrates and ammonium by the roots. Practice question. At which of the following places the National Conference on Food and Nutrition Security in India will take place? Nagpur, Bengaluru, Jaipur, New Delhi. Answer it correctly. Thank you so much for watching.